tonight you're in the boyhood home, obviously, of Joe Biden, who is sort of like a phoenix from the ashes in this Democratic race, and tonight looks likely that he could get the dom Democratic nomination. Now, Democrats insist that you were impeached because you were trying to damage Joe Biden. Were you? So it was a fake impeachment. Uh, <laughs> we had a hundred, think of it, and the Republicans in the House, we had 107, 196 votes in favor, zero from the Republicans, zero against. We picked up three Democrat votes on top of that. And we had one Democrat was so angry by it that he left the party, became a Republican, which I think is the first time, because he left a majority and went into a minority. Van Drew. And, and it was a whole fake deal. And everybody knows that. I made a phone call. It was a perfect phone call. There was nothing wrong with it. And they said, let's impeach. Now, the real backstory is when the phony whistleblower, who's a total phony, he heard the call, supposedly, you know, through somebody, through the informant. You notice the way everybody disappeared once? Thank goodness I had a transcriber. We had more than one. Thank goodness we had that call transcribed, because the transcripts of the call revealed that it was a perfect call. By that time, they were already talking about impeachment, and they were going by a phony whistleblower uh, rendition of a call that didn't exist, just like Adam Schiff. He goes before Congress, and he starts talking about eight quid pro quos, and uh, don't call me, I'll call you. Well, that's a mob expression. Don't call me, I'll... And everybody's saying, that's a terrible call. He made it up. It was totally made up. And I said, oh, good. We'll sue him. We'll take him down. And then I find out he's got immunity because he made it in Congress. It should almost be the opposite. You should almost have to be more honest if you're in Congress. Do you think Biden is damaged? Do you think he's damaged? 